Hello. So in this video, I want to show you how to use the Desmos uh, online graphing calculator to find the maximum and minimum values of a function on a closed interval. I'm going to do problem 3 from page 320, and when you do the activity, you'll do problem 5. As you know, we use the left-hand side uh, entry point to enter our function. So for me, that's going to be a rational function, which is a fraction. And the numerator I'm going to include in parentheses, which happens to be 2x cubed minus 3x squared plus 1. And then the denominator, which will show up here when you hit the division slash, is x squared plus 2x minus 8. So this is a pretty crazy looking function. If you want to limit the interval that you see of the function, we're going to uh, have a closed interval. You use the curly braces immediately after the function. So I'll put curly brace and then I'll write an inequality with the interval. Our interval is negative 3 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 1. Because this is a closed interval, I'm going to use less than or equal to. And you'll notice now that I have just a piece of the curve. So that is the curve on the closed interval. And you can zoom around like I am here to sort of uh, view the entire curve. If there's a lot of white space, ooh man, this is crazy, sorry about that. If there's a lot of white space on the left or the right, you can always use the wrench to fine tune your zooming. Uh, I'm going to go from negative 4 to 2 because I know those are the x values that I'm concerned with. And that will give me a better picture of the graph. The other thing I can do is uh, get rid of that keyboard there. So now you can see I have this curve. Uh, what I like to do is put in vertical lines for each of the endpoints. So our vertical line on the left would be x equals negative 3. And our vertical line on the right would be x equals 1. And the green and blue lines here sort of, sh sort of show us the boundaries. Now, to locate the maximum and minimum values, it's pretty straightforward here. If you click the curve, a bunch of special dots will show up. Here's an intersection with our left-hand vertical line and our red curve. And that tells me that there's a Y value of 16 at that location. We also get a few other intercepts. Here is the x-intercept at negative 5, 0. Um, seems like there'd be another one right there. Yeah, there it is. 1, 0 is another x-intercept. And then there's two points indicated here. One of these is the y-intercept, which is 0, negative 0 0.125. And the other one is the minimum value of this curve, which happens to be at 0 0.046 and negative 0.126. Now I know it's a tight, uh, small difference between negative 0.125 and negative 0.126, but I think you'll agree that that is the lowest of those y values. And so I've quickly located the maximum, which occurs at negative 3, but the value is 16. And the minimum, which occurs at 0.046, the value of the minimum is negative 0.126. That's the lowest y value on that red curve. The highest y value is 16, at least in terms of this closed interval. And so I've quickly located those values. I can take a screenshot and post this uh, to the forum and get the points for the required forum this week. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, remember, you're going to complete number five in the same way that we've done number three here. Good luck.